Blame it all on my roots I showed up in boots And ruined your blind tie affair The last one to know The last one to show I was the last one you thought you'd see there What's going on vapors? Vaping Cowboy here. We're gonna do another review today. Uh, today we are going over the Rose version 2 RBA clone from Origin Vapes. Now uh, I got uh, I ordered uh, the little uh, switch for my uh, for my Stingray clone because the switch was was failing on it uh, if you watch my last video and uh, so I content I got uh, a letter in my uh, in my vape mail there said to contact uh, the owner or or one of the owners and uh, so I just sent him a short email and he asked uh, asked me if I'd be interested in uh, doing uh, doing a review on on this uh, on this little device here and um, I was like yeah for sure definitely down for doing a doing a review especially on something that uh, I've never done a review on before so uh, yeah this is the the Rose 2 it's uh, originally made by, uh, by a company it's originally made over in the UK um, I can't think of uh, who it uh, <laughs> wow I'm very unprepared today It, uh, it's by Eden Mods, and they're uh, based over in the UK there. So uh, that's what this is based off of. And uh, so let's just take a take a toot, and then uh, we'll get up into the in a close up of it, and then we'll come back out, and then I'll vape on it a few more times, and I'll give you my thoughts. Okay, this uh, portion's the up and close part, <clears throat> and. Uh, this here is the Rose version 2 RBA, RBA clone. It, uh, the, the original people uh, are Eden Mods is who makes that. Uh, the Authentic goes for between $250 and $190 is what I've seen so far in a little bit of research that I have done. Uh, this is a, it's made, uh, by Eden Mods, as I said before, and they're a, a UK company. But uh, the people who make this one here is uh, they're called King Two, and uh, I tried to research a little bit on King Two as well, but uh, I just haven't found anything. So either they're really a really new company, or they just don't have a website up yet. So uh, so yeah, let's just uh, we'll get into the unboxing this. And this did come from uh, Origin Vape. Vape. Hold on. Sorry about that. It came from OriginVape.com, and uh, this came with a with a calling card from Origin Vape. Uh, it says New York, New York, but uh, the company that I got it from, Origin Vape, is from uh, Brooklyn, New York. And uh, Eric sent me this, so I just want to say thank you, Eric. Uh, so uh, we'll just get into this right now. Uh, it comes with a big box. You got uh, you got a little bag of goodies here. You got your Allen wrench for your catch screws. You got this steel pin, so uh, you can uh, take the very bottom off if uh, that ever gets gunked up. You can clean it and whatnot. And then it comes with a with your you know your standard Phillips head uh, screwdriver. And then you have an extra screw, two extra catch screws or grub screws is what they call them and then you have a whole new a whole extra set of uh, o-rings for uh, this uh, this RBA so we'll just open her up here and take a look what we got inside put this box off to the side also what came with it was uh, canthal uh, to me it looks like a 28 gauge and then it also comes with a uh, some silica wick as well. I don't use that. Uh, I'm gonna when I build this. I'm gonna use cotton on this. Uh, just so you know, this video is 
is recorded ahead of time before uh, I do the full review. Uh, just so you know, so you're aware that I'm, I've used it for a while. That way I can give my thoughts and opinions on it, uh, whether it's good or not. Uh, <clears throat> so we'll just get into it here. I keep saying we'll get into it, so <laughs> sorry about that. So uh, here is your, uh, here's your little thing of goodies. Uh, this is the RBA itself. And uh, right now it, it uh, already has a stainless steel uh, portion on there. You can, if you don't like the stainless steel and you want to see how much uh, liquid you have in there, you can put on uh, this uh, polycarbonate uh, window and that would go right there. In fact, I'll just, uh, I'll just switch it over right now. That way you can get a, get a view of what it would look like. With this, uh, with this uh, foggy window, I guess you would call it foggy. There. So this is what it would look like with, uh, <clears throat> with, uh, with that polycarbonate window in there. Uh, I'm going to be using uh, the stainless steel because uh, I just want to uh, I've had bad experiences with uh, with glass or polycarbonate uh, like I did uh, on one of my uh, one of my other uh, uh, RDAs here or RBA that was the Typhoon GT uh, I just preferred the stainless steel with the you know with the extra security is uh, the way that I look at it and that's that's what I like anyway so uh, we'll do a little bit, we'll go over a little bit about this here in a minute of uh, the specs on this, on this RBA. But uh, we got here, right here, this is, uh, this is a stand, but it also uh, is, uh, it's got screws on the side here. It's got these two little pins on here, and what that is, here, let me set this off to the side here. So uh, if you want to take this bottom piece off, oh, also it says Rose version 2.0 B1, uh, just like uh, it's a it's a one to one clone is what it is. So you you got these two little dimples in here, so these go right in there. You just line it up so it's sitting there. Now you take your pin. Getting ahead of myself. Got to take this apart first. Just set this off to the side here. Let's see if I can get this. There, it's coming. All right, so you got this little hole here, and then you got a couple other ones here. These are for those uh, for those screws. Uh, the grub screws, I call them the grab screws, but uh, so you'll line this up until it slides in there and it's secure and then you would take this pin and put it in that side and then you could just turn it so it loosens up and that's the bottom here that's your air, that's your air hole right there the air hole is directly in the middle and then you got your uh, your ring for your airflow control and then there's your airflow hole and then it's got a little uh, it's got a little o-ring on the bottom and then uh, this whole thing does come apart so if you ever do need to clean it uh, pretty simple so I'll put this back together and then just like when you uh, you take it apart and just twist the opposite way. Just make sure it's nice and snug. Don't over tighten it. Okay. Now this here, this is a stand, but also the tool there. Uh, there's only one way that you can screw this on. So you would just turn it this way. And there. And now you, you can work here. So there's a stand, here's the, the middle section, there's the top cap, here's the bottom tank section, here is your uh, your pipe with the drip tip 
is uh, it does not come off. I've tried. Uh, it's just one piece it looks like. And then uh, let's see. Oh, this right here. These are two ceramic cups. Now when you're building on this, you, uh, you're going to need these ceramic cups. Well, at least one of them anyway. That way it doesn't short out. But this cup goes down right in here. And then uh, when you're when you you build your coils or coil, you got your airflow hole in the center here. Just make sure you can see this. Your airflow hole is in the center here. And then these two little holes on the side, that's your positive and negative. And then on the side here, these grab screws. Let me see if I can bring this up closer. Yeah, you got this little grab screw here, and then you also have one on this side. Now those are like with the regular with a regular RDA when you put your your wires through and then you would tighten them down. Well this is the opposite way. You put your wires down through those two holes and then you and then you snug you snug those up. And then uh and then when you're running your uh your wicks through you got uh you got oops sorry I was out of the camera. You go right here, and then right here, and then it's the same on the other side as you can see here, down at the bottom there. Uh, so you run that through there. Uh, some people trim them right up there, but I would treat it like a, like you would with like the Typhoon GT. I would have a little bit excess sticking out, uh, but everyone has their preferences. My preference is to make sure that my tank's not gonna flood. Uh, everyone's different, uh, whatever works for you, uh, Go for it. So that's the that's the up close part. And then uh, after you do that, we'll we'll put this together here. So to fill this this tank here, so we'll just put this back together. If it will cooperate. Okay, so you would have this off, and then you, to fill this, you would just move this off to the side, fill it up. Uh, you want to make sure that you don't have this come out a little bit all the way. I mean, you can bring it up a little bit, so you have a little better angle to get in there. But, uh, yeah, you have it too far. This O-ring is what's keeping the juice in, inside here. So just be careful on that but that's the that's the up close portion of this I'll just go over a few of the a few of the specs here uh, and then uh, then we'll go back out to normal view and then uh, by that time I'll use this for for a while and then I can give you my thoughts on it and and show you how it vapes oh I forgot to mention that down here is your uh, let me take this off down here is your airflow control ring. And if you do it right there, that's all the way open. And then it, tether, it feathers off, and then there's nothing. It's a little tough right now because uh, I just opened it. So uh, after I use it a while, it should, it should, um, it should loosen up a little bit. But uh, yeah, that's a that's a nice little tool, nice little stand for you to build on, and you could also use it on on other devices that you want to build on as well. Uh, I think that's a real big added bonus myself. So we'll uh, now we're going to go over some of the some of the uh, specs on this. It's got a 3.7 milliliter tank capacity. Uh, as I previously stated, this is built by King Two. You can do a dual or single coil configuration in this thing, and I've no I've heard people doing quad as well. Uh, I don't know if I would go to that degree. I don't even do quads with my RDAs, uh, to be honest. Uh, just uh, 
I think it'd be uh, it'd get a little bit too hot for my liking. On my plume veil, I had I had it was a point one seven build dual pair or yeah dual parallel coils, and man was that hot. I I like my five to six second draws. Well, when I had that configuration, I could only do one second before my drip tip uh, decided to try and burn my mouth. So, <laughs> but uh, it's got the it's 22 millimeters in diameter. It's got the rose version two on the bottom on the base. Uh, the full height of this thing is 79 and a half millimeters. That's with the drip tip. It is crafted out of 316 stainless steel. It's the adjustable airflow base is up to two millimeters. It's got the chimney style RBA in it. It comes with the two ceramic cups. Comes with two replacement grub screws. Comes with gaskets and mini Allen key. It also comes with the silica wick and the canthal as I as I showed earlier. And it also comes with the 304 stainless steel stand for this device. That's the stand here. And. Uh, it's uh that's pretty much it in a nutshell i mean uh, i got this from origin vape they are selling it on their website for 39.99 uh, i think it's steel at that uh, especially for uh how well this thing you know i mean this thing's heavy so if you're going to set it on to your on your mechanical mod you want to make sure you lock that because otherwise it will fire. So, you know, safety first. It's always safety first. But uh, yeah, that's that's a close portion. Uh, so we'll go back out to normal view. We'll take a, take a few toots, I'll tell my thoughts, and we'll get out of here. Okay, so uh, we just got back from the from the up close portion there, and uh, yeah, that's the that's the rose version 2 RBA. Uh, this is actually my first uh, RBA with the with the chimney part on there. Uh, you know I've had I've had the, the Typhoon GT. Uh, that one's alright. I actually do prefer this one uh, more than I do the Typhoon. Uh, the only thing is is if you know if you're new new to rebuilds and stuff like that I would not recommend this for you uh, it is quite difficult to uh, to build on this deck you have that uh, you have that ceramic cup and then you have to put your coil or coils through those holes and then you got to make them line up into uh, into the two holes on the deck and, uh, and then you got to tighten them down and it can be a little frustrating at times, especially when you're first first doing it. I know my first one, it took me uh, probably 15 minutes to make. I've had uh, multiple coil, different coils that I made in here. And I've also used cotton, and then I also used the silica wick that was provided. Now, I don't normally build with silica wick. Uh, I've been organic cotton the whole time, but... Uh, I've tried it both ways, and to be quite honest, the silica wick is much better. It's much better to build on this just for the fact that you have you have the four the four channels on on the cup as well as on the deck itself where those wicks have to come out, and you can't just block one off. You have to you have to have them all. I tried to do different different configurations on it. Uh, um, also, I've seen uh, people, I actually saw a review on this as well uh, from some guy over in the UK, it was quite a while ago, and he uh, fills it from the bottom. Now, I did the bottom, filled it with the bottom and all that, and it's, it can be a pain, honestly. Uh, so what I've... What I have actually done is I found a better way to fill this, and I went with the full stainless. Uh, as you know, it comes with the comes with the the foggy window section or the stainless. I've just used the stainless because then you know you can use whatever whatever kind of juice that you want inside this uh, 
in this RBA. You don't have to worry about uh, you don't have to worry about stuff cracking or breaking the breaking that glass. So, but uh, yeah, I just take this top off. And you can set that down, and now you can you can sit there and you can drip inside here. And just so you're well aware, you should do it slowly when if it's uh, completely empty or uh, yeah, if it's completely empty, almost bone dry, go slow. You know, if you turn it sideways like that and start dripping, you, you want to actually drip. You don't want to just squeeze it and force it in there. Uh, I've come to the realization that with this one, if you force it in there, you're going to flood if you're feeling from the top. Now, if you're feeling from the bottom, you're not going to have that issue at all. So uh, just, a, just thought I'd give you a heads up that if you do have this or if you are looking for an RBA so you can put all your, all your juice in there and then you can put your cap back on and then you're good to go. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of the best of both worlds because you can control your, you can control your, uh, your ohms with your coils and then you also don't have to drip so you know I've been using this ever since I got it and uh, I'm more of a I juice everywhere I'm more of a of a R, the RDA the drip type you know I'm not really into the tanks much anymore but this is actually a nice tank um, I got to give a, give a hats up to do to uh, King 2 yeah King 2 is the one who made this uh, this clone here and I also gotta gotta thank Eric from uh, origin originvape.com for uh, giving me the opportunity to do this review uh, I really appreciate it and I'm sure uh, the subscribers out there will also appreciate it too um, yeah if you're in if you're looking in to get into rebuildables I mean you've done rebuildables but if you're looking for like a tank setup uh, I would go with this it doesn't have the uh, you know, I'm I'm used to the massive air flows with, you know, like with my with my plume veil or uh, <clears throat> or my trident or you know any one any number one of the, my other other RDAs. Uh, this tank doesn't have that that airflow. You know, it's more of the of the tank style airflow uh, portion of it. So uh, it took me a little while to get used used to doing that again but I mean uh, the vapor production for this one is is actually really decent oh it had a whistle there I must have let it let it get flooded last <laughs> last time I, I uh, uh, the thing you have to be be wary on is that when you're uh, filling this from the top that you you make sure this chimney is down tight. If it's not tight and you take this off, you're gonna flood your tank and you're gonna get juice that comes right out of the air hole on the bottom uh, with the adjustable air hole anyway. But uh, yeah, it's uh, you know most most stuff that I've used, especially tank wise, uh, at one point or another they will get they will get uh, flooded a little bit if you're not if you're not careful. So. You know, and this there's no difference with this one either. But uh, I'm not saying that this is not a that this is a bad tank because I actually enjoy it. It's uh, like I said, you know, I'm used to the massive airflow. This one it took me it took me about a day to get used to uh, uh, vaping on the on the uh, on the tank style air holes again. I mean, you can see that's it's pretty nice vapor there. So, you know, it's not going to be the the RDA style vapor because you have all that massive airflow and and you know you're chucking the clouds. I mean, you're still gonna you're still gonna have nice clouds as you can see from this. But uh, you know, if you're looking for like the RDA style type of clouds, um, probably not going to get it with this. You know, I've had probably six different builds in here, and uh, I've had it all the way down to point it was point two seven ohms and then I've had it all the way up to uh, one point one point one eight ohms and uh, generally for this style for me uh, the ideal 
ohm would be around the 0.8 to 0.9 range. Uh, that's just my personal opinion uh, with the ohm range. Uh, I had to, I tried some crazy build to do uh, to do have a dual, but with only one wire, and uh, it, the coil just wasn't heating up fast enough for my liking. So I had to rip that out and put another one in. And uh, yeah, the last I'd say about three days ago, I, I had like three different builds in there. One at one point during the whole day. So uh, yeah. Another reviewer said that uh, you could have all the way up to quad coils in, in this one. Yeah, that you're going to have to have very, very small, very tight uh, uh, micro coils if you're going if you're going to try the quad. And I'll tell you right now, you'll get very frustrated with trying to trying to thread those uh, those leads down into the into the holes to for the positive and, and negative on there. But uh, yes, this is a uh, I have to, I really do have to do, I can't even talk today. I really do have to give this a hats up because, you know, uh, like I said, I'm not much of a, much of a tank guy, but, uh, you know, I had the, I had the Typhoon for a while and then I gave that to my wife and, uh, we still do have this Typhoon that, uh, is going to be for the giveaway. We just need to reach a hundred subscribers. So, uh, keep that in mind. And then, um, yeah, we're uh, we're 32 subscribers away before uh, I'll do that giveaway. Uh, just so uh, you know that, but uh, yeah, it's all about it's all about the Rose version two, uh, and uh, I just have to say this RBA is I'm liking it. So uh, if you're in the if you're in the market for uh, a nice RBA, doesn't cost a lot of money. You know, this one is Origin Vape is uh, $39.99, and you come in. It comes in that box like I like I showed you in the up close uh, part. You know, it comes with wire. It comes with uh, comes with the silica wick. It comes with a screwdriver. It comes with an Allen wrench. It comes with that that uh, that metal uh, pin so you can take the the very bottom off if you need to clean it or adjust something around. Uh, it comes with uh, two, two different sections for the tank itself. If you want to see your liquid, you can go with, with the, the foggy uh, glass. Or if you're like myself and just want the stainless, you can go ahead and have that. You don't have to go out and buy another, another section piece for that uh, like, I did, uh, like I did with the, with the Typhoon there. Uh, so, uh, yeah, all in all, it's a, it's a very good... It's a very good uh, very good RBA. Uh, I can't say enough about this. Um, the flavor is there. It just uh, it, it'll take you a little bit to uh, to get down your wicking and your your coils. Uh, right now I'm running uh, I'm running a 0 0.83 uh, ohm coil in this. It's just a, a single micro coil in there. Um, yeah. Other than that, uh, you know, go to Origin Vape, put in an order. Uh, I know they got them, and they're up on their website right now. So uh, you know, if you decide to order something from them, just uh, just tell them the vaping cowboy sent you, and then uh, you know we'll go from there. So uh, this is the vaping cowboy, the Rose V2 RBA. It's a clone, and uh, it's on the overdose. So uh, just make sure that you guys are. Uh, just trying to make sure you guys are well informed about, about new stuff coming out. And then uh, just make sure you keep vaping hard, my friends, and we'll see you again.